What is happening guys? My name is Mike. Welcome back to the channel. This is probably going to be a tough video for me, but I'm glad to be back with you. I'm glad to be going through it finally. I'm gonna talk about a lot of personal things today, but overall we are going to be talking about my pomade collab with flagship pomade company, Limitless. It's finally ready, it's finally ready to launch. I'm excited for you guys to get a hold of it. I'm gonna give you guys all the details you've been asking me about for weeks and you know what feels like months now. And I'm gonna tell you everything hopefully that you need to know before making the choice to pick it up or not. And I'm also gonna give you guys kind of a personal look into the theme behind the project and what it really means to me personally. I'm gonna start by telling you right now, this video is probably gonna be long. So hit that pause button if you need to, grab yourself a drink, a snack, a blanket, whatever you need to feel comfortable during the story. Let's get started. Like I said, this is definitely gonna be tough for me. I have not gone into it in this depth, but he is really the big motivating factor behind the theme of Limitless, how it came to have the persona it does and and, and what really fueled the project as far as the theme goes. I do want I do want to start by saying the name Limitless has nothing to do with the movie or the TV show. Nothing. I have said it several times on social media. I've said it on Instagram, Facebook. I feel like people are ignoring me at this point. The short of it is I have two brothers. I'm the oldest of three boys and my middle brother is named Tony. My youngest brother was named Tyler. Me and my brother Tony had a very similar style all through you know, middle school, high school. I actually had a crew cut or, or high and tight they called it for many years. I was in ROTC in high school. Didn't really uh, have any interest in hairstyling and or you know putting in effort, things like that. But, but Tyler was different. See, Tyler liked to express himself through the way he dressed and his hair, the way he, uh, the colors of his clothing. His favorite jeans actually were these purple skinny jeans and that was just one example. He was just he was just very expressive with his appearance. Unfortunately, also my brother got involved with drugs and specifically a synthetic marijuana called K2 that was really big here in the States at the time. And that's really what led to the big decline. The the drug, you know, damaged him in many different ways and caused a lot of issues for him. And you know, I was hopeful that we could get him help, but um, it just, uh, it didn't happen. On September 29th, 2012, which is actually the day before my birthday, um, unfortunately, my brother took his life. It was really hard for me. It was, it still is. It's hard to talk about, it's hard to, even just express the way it feels. But the way that I channel that through my emotions and the way that I have chosen to deal with it and move on and try to make something that I think he would be proud of is this channel, the things you're watching every week. I take a little bit of him with me in every single video I do and every single project I get involved in, including this one with Wade. I met Wade on Facebook because I did some product shots for him, which is something that I've been getting into a lot lately, is doing uh, product photography for different brands. And one day we were just chatting about stuff and he invited me to do a collab with him. And I was just uh, unbelievably excited. So right away we started talking about themes and what type of product we wanted to make and Wade kind of left it up to me to come up with a theme. And so I have, you know, a little notebook where I write down ideas and I, and I was I was brainstorming, thinking about different things, different concepts, different themes. And for some reason, my brother kept entering my head. And that's where we get into the other source of inspiration. Another personal note about me, I am a big Apple fan. I have all the stuff. I have MacBook Pros, iMacs, iPads, iPhones. I've been a big fan of Steve Jobs for a long time. I've read a lot about him. And I actually read a quote once, and I think it was about the iPod, but I'm not totally sure. But it was just a quote that I just read somewhere, and for some reason it just imprinted in my head. It said, this is a tool for the heart and when you touch someone's heart, that's limitless. And this was something I read years ago, but it just imprinted in my head. And so I'm sitting here thinking about my brother, I'm thinking about concepts, 
and then this quote just, you know, flashes through my head. My brother used his hairstyle and the tools he used to shape that hairstyle as a tool for expression. I didn't want it just to work good, because that's a given. We had to make something that works good. I would never release something that didn't. But I wanted it to be a little more than that. I wanted it to be a tool for expression. So now we got our concept, now we gotta make the product. And that was kind of my choice too, I brought it up right away, was I wanted to do something with a clay. So we got to work. The next question I get in relation to Flagship and Limitless is, is Limitless going to be just like Dead Seas or is it gonna have some tendencies like the Dead Sea clay or Prelude, for example? No, it's not gonna be like any one of those. That is something that we both just agreed on from the beginning. We weren't going to recycle anything. We weren't going to just repackage something old and call it something new. And so here we are, and I am so glad and excited to finally give you a closer look at Limitless. What we have made here is a cream clay pomade. It scoops out very creamy and breaks down very easily. It goes in the hair very slick and is designed to not have tug or pull and respond to both finger combing and using a comb or brush. The hold on the product is on the lighter end of medium, especially when you first apply it. The product is designed to enter the hair and go through a sort of shift or settling period and allow the clay to really take over and increase the texture, volume, and even hold a little bit. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes for the product to go through this shift. Here's a look at how the product looks after the initial application and after the settling period. As far as scent goes, we definitely didn't want to cut corners. I have a big scent allergy, so I definitely wanted something that I could breathe around. And I'm actually really bad at identifying and, and coming up with scent ideas for that reason. But luckily, Wade had a really good idea. He brought in Mr. Tony Wynn, who we both know from EP, Everything Pomade on Facebook. And he made us a custom scent. Here are the top heart and base notes of the fragrance. It does have a lot going on in there, but I do think it smells really good and it's tied together very nicely and it complements the product perfectly. Next, the design of the labels. We had no idea how to go through with this, but luckily we had Jacob from Star 7 Creative. He's literally one of the best designers that I know. I never in a million years would have been able to come up with the concept for the label that he did. The color purple comes from, you know, my brother's purple skinny jeans, but my mother also started the Tyler Smith Purple Project. You can find them on Facebook. I'll put it in the description. And they're a group dedicated to spreading awareness about synthetic drugs. And actually a portion of the sales from Limitless will get donated to her charity and the charity for my brother. Once again, this is a limited release product. So I don't know exactly how many many Wade's planning to make. Let's hit pause for a sec. Now isn't that just a flattering image? When I filmed this video, I had not yet received the info on time of release or quantity, but as of now, I can tell you for sure, Limitless will be released tonight, July 7th, at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time at the flagship Pomade website, which I will put in the description down below. And pressing play. I hope I answered you know, the majority of your questions. If I didn't, drop me a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Make sure you also smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm really excited to get this product out to you guys. It's been an amazing process. I wanna thank Wade from Flagship for uh, working with me on this. I got some product reviews already geared up to hit the channel, so I'll be back with you guys again very soon with some new content. Thanks again for checking out this video and stopping by the channel. Take it easy, I'll see you next time.